Dying back in. All right, everybody. Um, just want to make a quick video about Game Boy uh, color stuff. I love this system. It's one of my. It's my favorite handheld system. And here's my Game Boy color. It's kiwi. Probably can't see that or hear that. And here's some games. So without further ado, final four carts I had. So, final four quarts I was missing for my collection. Number one, a bit of an oddball title, um, Star Wars Obi-Wan's Adventures. Actually a pretty cool game, awesome remix of Duel of the Fates in 8-bit. Very cool soundtrack and fun little side thriller. Kind of reminds me of um, the episode one levels in LEGO Star Wars video game for Game Boy Advance. Another good game, very difficult though. Um, also for Game Boy... I have this, but Super Mario Bros. Deluxe, my battery did die, unfortunately, I'm going to replace it. Um, but this is a great remake of the original Mario Brothers. Uh, I like this version. Came out in 99, I love stuff from the year 1999. Um, so very cool. Uh, so Link's Awakening DX, this is one of the black cartridges, a lot of people have talked about this already, but there's these two designs. Um, this one is more like the uh, Game Boy original cartridges, uh, where it's concave right there. Uh, the, they're, these ones are just black. They do work on an original Game Boy. I don't have one, but I have a Game Boy Pocket. But, you know, uh, in comparison, these are convex, and they're a bit bigger. Uh, there's no little corner wedge right there to help you get them out. Um, so yeah, Link's Awakening DX, another dead battery, sadly. A uh, very great remake. Uh, the screen, whatever glitch, the teleportation glitch does not work, but still excellent. And the color dungeon is fun. Pokemon trading card game. I This is a very fun game. Underrated Pokemon game. Came out in 98 um, in Japan. I actually have... I'm going to get a Japanese import version of this game, but yep, the US version came out in 2000, so... Basically a 98 game. This was a launch title in Japan, I believe, or a month afterwards, not sure. Then I have my complete box, uh, one of my favorite pieces of my collection. Pretty, It's not hard to find, it's just cool to have a Game Boy Color game in the box, though. Lego Island 2, which I also have for the PlayStation. It's the only PlayStation 1 game I have. So, pretty cool. Gonna do some PlayStation collecting and some... Uh, more Game Boy Color collecting, but... Yep, it's complete in box. I'll show you guys some of the inserts, actually. Box is in pretty good shape still. I got a brand new, like never opened before. And I hated opening it. It was not very fun. If I get any more, I probably won't open them. I'm probably going to get, like, a protective case for this. So. Yep. So it comes with this little insert here. Which the cartridge just sits in. And that's what it looks like right there excellent shape. The label is just completely mint. Excellent shape. Oh crap, dropped it on my leg. Excellent shape cartridge right there. Little insert here showing off some of the different LEGO uh, games you can get for your computer or for PlayStation around 64. LEGO uh, software here is what it's called. 2001. It shows LEGO Island 2 for PC. It, the PS1 version wasn't released yet. Stunt Rally, which also came on Game Boy Color, not that great though. <laughs> Lego Alpha Team Racers Creator and Lego Land. That's what you can see there. Then uh, Lego My Style and other stuff like that. So, yep. Then it shows the older ones like Lego Islands or Lego Island, Lego Creator. Uh, the second one's Lego Creator too. I know it's Knights Kingdom. Then Lego Chess and everything. I'd like to get Lego Island the first one. Then it. Uh, has advertisements for Bionicle and everything. Cool. Here's the manual. Advertisement for uh, Stunt Rally on the back of it. Which has, it's just a manual. Which is cool. Little mail-in thing. Always gotta have these warranty cards. Lego Media. Product registration card. Uh, which is cool because it says what uh, game systems do you own. 
Play N64, PlayStation, Dreamcast, Other, and then you can write down the other. That's cool. Game Boy Color. That's neat. And then here's a Nintendo Power advertisement. Actually, there's a Game Boy um, Precautions booklet. All games came with that. And the Nintendo Power uh, ad, which actually, it's funny. It has the same color Game Boy as mine. And just some advertisements for strategy guides and Game Boy Color carrying case and just some stuff. Yeah, it's a very cool little um, bundle. And I, I like it. I think it's a cool box. I wish I could get more boxed Game Boy games. Boxed Game Boy games are really popular, though. Um, loose games are easy to find in comparison. But yeah, cheap titles like this, uh, ones that are just like the oddball kids titles, are very easy to find. Uh, complete box and brand new. So, yep. I'm just going to put this away now. Just to show you guys a little bit of an overview. Also, one thing that's awesome about the Game Boy Color is that it works with original Game Boy titles, and uh, you can use them on the Game Boy Color, and you can add color to them. Of course, it won't be, like, realistic. It'll just be a few different shades, and you can change them by using the directional pad in A and B, and the start select, just every little combination ever. And some works better for certain games, so. Yeah, this box is being annoying. There we go. Um... Yeah, I like to protect. I love cardboard boxes for games. I love the late '90s for tech and everything. I have a lot of late '90s stuff. I like the '90s in tech. I don't care for the 16-bit era. I know a lot of people will attack me for that. I'm just too spoiled by uh, late '90s computer graphics and everything. Like I said, Half-Life is my favorite game of all time. So, yep, that's basically it for this video. Uh, I'd recommend picking up a Game Boy Color. They're like 20 bucks now. You can modify yours to do back or uh, have a backlight, which. That's up to you. I'm, I'm not going to modify mine. I'm going to keep mine original. I like to pick up uh, Tetris DX. I want a launch title for the system. So, yep. There's my games. I have five of them. Not really a big collection, but nonetheless, I like it. And that's a cool little piece. And then, of course, I'll just show you my Game Boy stuff. Actually, I have Donkey Kong Land 2. I'm going to get that for my birthday. I, I see it's the banana cartridge. It's just in there. Uh, Wario Land, Super Mario Land 3, got that for free uh, with my pocket. Super Mario Land, classic, have to have that. And her Tetris, and it still has a little plastic case in my pocket once again. With the battery cover, this one also has the battery cover. This is actually in really good shape. This sticker always gets worn, though. But besides that, it's in very good condition. Zip. Love the Game Boy Color. I'd highly recommend it to anyone who's a fan of the original Game Boy or just old Nintendo handhelds. It's more powerful than the NES, and there are quite a few uh, NES ports on here. So, yep, check it out.